So Sticker Hub is a free app that's dedicated to Monopoly Go players. It offers features like sticker exchanges, daily free dice links, updates on new game activities, um, and a whole bunch of stuff. So let's talk about it and show you some of the features and how it works. I actually had quite a few people commenting in my videos and stuff saying, hey, you should check it out. I love Sticker Hub app. So I gave it a shot and well, I kind of love it too. So let's go through some of the stuff here. So this is the main screen that Sticker Hub opens up to. At the bottom, you'll see the album, the tab for proposals, messages, bonus, which is my personal favorite feature here in the app. And then you have your profile. If you do decide to download this app, right here where it says invite code, I want you to go ahead and fill everything out and then put my invite code in. This is a free app, so there will be some ads in it, but if you don't want to watch the ads, you can actually pay to just have them removed. So it's not terrible, but you don't have to do that. But let's go ahead and talk about basically the main function of this app, which is to find people to exchange stickers with. And if you've ever used any other app, it's kind of a pain to input your sticker albums in. But let me show you how awesome it is in Sticker Hub. So there is something called Import Album right here that it makes it super easy. All you have to do is go over to your Monopoly Go app, which I'm gonna load here. Let me just fast forward through this part and get to my Sticker Album because this is where I'm gonna show you the awesomeness that is Sticker Hub. So if you click on your album and obviously we have each of our sets here, open one of them up like the first one and screenshot it. Take the second one, screenshot it third one, screenshot it, fourth one, screenshot it. Just take a screenshot of each one of your sets until the end. I'm only gonna do a few here because I'm trying to speed things along. You go over here, hit that import album button and it says choose from library. So it's in your library already. Just click that button, choose the, I did five of them and then hit import. It only takes a couple seconds. Usually, well, if you have a bunch of them, it takes a little bit longer, but not long. I mean, check that out. Five of them just imported in like three seconds. It was amazing. Then just hit finish and boom, your albums are updated. It's, it's that fast. So that is a huge advantage that Sticker Hub has. Okay, so there are two ways that you can find your missing stickers. Either scroll through the sets here down at the bottom and find it, or just go to the missing stickers tab here and it will have just your missing stickers. Just click search for one of those and it'll bring up a bunch of users that have an extra one and you can click on them and figure out what which one of your stickers you would like to offer as an exchange. You also have the option to send up to five stickers for one, so keep that in mind as well. Let me show you another fun little perk about Sticker Hub. So instead of scrolling through all the users, they actually have a quick match tab here that I've circled, and the app will just randomly match you with somebody that needs something that you have and has something that you need. So instead of scrolling through people looking to see, hey, do they have something that I need and vice versa, you can just go to the quick match. So let's talk about the proposals, how to do it, um, how the requests come in. Down at the bottom, there is the tab that says proposals. Let's go there. So here you can see some proposals that I have received um, from a couple different people looking to get stickers that I have. But at the top here, you can actually filter through all of your proposal based on you know whether you wanna see all of them, just the ones that are coming into you, the incoming ones, just the ones you've sent, and just your quick match ones. So, and under that, since I have all, I can go into pending ones, match, which means that both parties have accepted, or closed, which those are the ones that you've either declined, somebody else has declined for you, or that you've completed. As you can see for each of the incoming proposals, you have the option to either refuse, counter offer, or accept. So you can refuse and it'll give you a bunch of different options and reasons why. You can hit counter offer, meaning, hey, I don't really need that sticker, but let me go ahead and see if you have another one that I want, um, or you can just hit accept. So I'm scrolling down and I'm gonna find one that I'm going to refuse the offer. Here we go. So here's one somebody's requesting a four star sticker and they're trying to give me a three star sticker. Sometimes that's completely fine, but just for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and refuse their proposal and say that it is an unbalanced exchange because it's a three star for a four star. Now, sometimes that's not gonna matter, but in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. How you choose to handle your proposals and those things are completely up to you. Sometimes I might actually accept a three star for a four star or vice versa. So just something to think about. So now let me show you how to accept a proposal. So here, somebody is requesting a three star for a three star. I don't actually need the sticker, but I'm sure they do, which is why they're asking me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept. 
then this message pops up and it gives you the option to go ahead and chat with them to make sure that you know they're both online and you want to go ahead and do this exchange um, i'm going to go ahead and hit later because i don't always reach out to people but now when i go over to match it says accepted once you're ready to exchange now you just click on the ad under add friend on monopoly go it will take you to this screen that says open a page in monopoly go hit yes and now when you go here to their timeline it says there you go chloe became a friend this is the same person that i'm trying to do the exchange with in sticker hub so now that i'm friends with them i always pop back into sticker hub to see which sticker i need to send which is squeaky clean let me go ahead and open that from my monopoly go album there it is set 13. I go ahead and click on it, send to friend, and find Chloe in my list of friends. Keep scrolling down until you find your person. There she is. Click on that, make an exchange. Make sure you hit that make an exchange button, then hit continue. Exchange, and there you go. It's the same as if you were exchanging with a friend because now they are one of your friends. But everything is done in the Monopoly Go game. When you exchange the stickers, it is actually done in the game, not in the app. This is just to find the right people that have stickers you need or that need your stickers. All right, now that we've got that down, let's talk about messaging in the app. This is really important. We all know how messaging and texting works, but there's a really cool thing in Sticker Hub that I wanna show you. On the left-hand side, it looks like a sheet of paper. If you click on that, it's actually quick messaging, like quick parts. So if you just want to go ahead and tap on one of those, it will pre-fill, you don't have to type anything, and boom, send very quick, but the best part that I like is you can create your own quick message. And I frequently say friended and sent exchange requests because I tend to initiate a lot of the trades. So I added that. So now instead of having to type that to everybody, I can just tap that little icon on the left and scroll down, boom, friended and sent exchange request. Now some of these I'm probably never gonna use, so if you aren't either, just hit the little minus sign on the right hand side and hit delete and there you go just a fun little thing that sticker hub app has that nobody else does all right let's move on to other proposal settings so up at the top here it says receive proposals with a question mark if you are getting overwhelmed or you are out of trades for the day and you just want the proposals to stop hit that little toggle button turn it off and you won't receive them anymore. There's also an option when you do hit that toggle button, it'll ask you, hey, do you wanna turn this back on at 8 a.m. tomorrow? And you can say yes or no. I use that pretty often. But let's go ahead and take a look at other proposal settings. These are kind of important and I really like this feature. If you click there, um, you can put it a status on the top. So you can, you know, when somebody goes to your page, it'll say, I'm out of trades for the day or I prefer, you know, two five-star stickers for this gold sticker or whatever you wanna say in there. But this is even better. If you look at the sticker type, it gives you the option to choose whether or not you wanna receive all proposals, just proposals for your missing stickers, or just for your preferred stickers. So you can choose certain stickers in your set that you need that are preferred to get. That's pretty awesome, especially if you're getting overwhelmed or you only have you know one or two trades left for the day or something and you just wanna focus on the ones that you're missing to cut down on some of your incoming proposals. That's pretty cool. And now it's time to sound like an infomercial. But wait, there's more. Take a look at the 1v1 proposal section here. You can actually set parameters for what kind of sticker requests or sticker proposals you receive. So if I only want to receive five-star proposals for my star five-star stickers, you can set that. You can set the same for your four and three-star stickers too. If you don't want somebody requesting you know, one of your three or four star stickers for one star, you can remove that option so that there won't even be an option for them to ask for it. Now this only works for one card to one card. If they choose to offer you two four stars for your five star, it won't cut those out, but that can really cut out some of the unnecessary trade requests that you get that you just aren't even going to accept. All right, I've shown you how to refuse or accept on somebody's proposal request to you, but let's go ahead and show how to request a proposal from somebody else. Here I'm back at the main screen under album. I'm gonna go ahead and choose set 24 climbing because I know that I need a sticker from there. And I'm looking for beyond reach. So go ahead and click the search button there and it'll bring up a list of users that 
have an extra one that I can request a trade for. So I chose per one person, I'm gonna scroll down and because I like to make it one to one, so a five star for a five star, I'm just scrolling through trying to find one of my five stars that I'd like to offer them. Um, it does give me four and five stars, so they might actually have it set to where they will accept any offers or four and five star options, just like I showed you before. Let's go ahead and pick one of them. I'm gonna choose net positive. I purposely chose this one because it's from the second set, the Prestige album, and I wanted to show you that the other user hasn't unlocked the second album yet, so I can't actually offer it to them. Just wanted to show you in case you see that message and aren't really sure what to do about it. So instead, I'm gonna choose something from set 23, and then you just hit the button that says Propose Exchange, and it's sent. Now, if you go under your Proposals tab, there it is, right on the top, waiting for them to accept, decline, or counteroffer. So what happens if you send a proposal and now you need to cancel it? Um, let me show you. On the second one, if you just tap on this proposal, down at the bottom, it'll have an option to cancel proposal. Just click that and then give a reason why. So it might be because you're out of trades for the day, so you can't do it. You already got the sticker from somebody else, etc. These are the same cancel proposal options that you have for somebody who sends you a proposal and when you send a proposal. So just choose which reason for canceling the exchange is the most applicable and then hit cancel proposal and your proposal will be canceled. Now that I've gone through all the how to's for everything sticker proposal related, you know, sending, receiving, deleting, let's get to the fun part. My favorite part in the sticker hub app, which is the bonus tab at the bottom. This is where all the really good stuff is. So the events tab has all the upcoming events that are gonna be happening in Monopoly Go. There's the free dice tab that has all the free dice links so you don't have to go searching all over Facebook for those. There's a tab where you can earn free stickers. Um, there's another tab where you can earn chances to win a lucky sticker and even a tab where you can earn rewards just by doing videos on YouTube and TikTok if you're into those. So let's get into these individually and check them out. The first tab is the events tab. Like I said, this is where you can go and find all the upcoming events that are gonna be happening in your Monopoly Go game. It'll say when it starts, what date, and how long. So that's pretty cool if you want to go ahead and check this out over the next couple of days, maybe use it to strategize, you know, how you're gonna play, when you're gonna open your app, and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you one more really cool thing about the events tab in the Sticker Hub app. See that little bell on the right-hand side? As long as your notifications for this app are turned on on your phone, if you hit that, your app is actually going to remind you when those events begin so that you don't miss out on them. Pretty cool, huh? Anyhow, let's go ahead and go back to the bonus tab. The free dice is the second option we have there, and it gives us a list of all the free dice links, so you don't have to go searching for them on Facebook. It also tells you when they begin and when they expire, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you click on the claim, it'll go ahead and pop up and say, hey, do you wanna open this Monopoly Go? Open it. It's so much easier and so much less time consuming than going through all of the groups and whatnot. So let's go ahead and go back to the bonus tabs yet again and talk about the free sticker. This is really cool and I really think you're gonna like this one. The free sticker tab is actually a cool way where you can earn points just by inviting your friends and other people to join Sticker Hub. If they use your invite code when they're signing up, then you earn one point, which is a reward. And later on, if you have enough, you can redeem those points for free stickers for the Monopoly Go game. So if you take a look here, I have 14 points currently. If you scroll down to the bottom, these are all of the five star stickers. You can choose five, four, three, two, or one but all of the five-star stickers here are available to redeem as rewards. It looks like Paddle Pals is actually out of stock right now, but all of the rest of them are really worth six or five points. So you can get a sticker just by inviting five or six people and they put in your code. To do that, all you have to do is click the invite friends down at the bottom and then send it to your friends via Facebook Messenger, by email, by you can airdrop it, you can copy and paste it in wherever, but that's how you can do that. So invite your friends and earn some reward points. So let's go back to this bonus tab and check out the lucky stickers. This is just kind of a fun little way where you can watch an ad and spin a wheel and earn some coins. Once your coins add up to 100, then you can redeem them for stickers that are available that day. So like here, there's a new sticker every day that's available. You can save them up. And maybe if I need to let it slide on the 30th, then I'm gonna go ahead and save those coins up and redeem them on that day if I have enough. 
Obviously, this is a free app. You don't have to pay for it. So there are going to be ads and that's how they make their money. And I have no problem with that, especially if I'm going to be earning rewards just for having an ad run. Most of the time, it's only like 15 to 30 seconds worth of ads anyway, so it's not really a big deal. And we're used to them, especially the Monopoly Go ads. They're everywhere. So once we have that, click on the reward granted at the top, and then you'll be able to spin the wheel. So let's see how many coins I got this time. I only got one this time, but I know a couple weeks ago I ended up spinning and I got 10 and I got four later that day. So you can earn these, even if you get one coin each time. You can do these, I believe, five times a day. That means you're going to get a five-star sticker in like 20 days, which that's not too bad just for kind of doing nothing. Just make sure that you do this every day or every other day. Otherwise, you'll lose all your coins. But still, that's pretty cool. Another way to earn stickers just for, you know, watching ads and using the app. And here's something fun for all of you who enjoy being on social media, maybe doing YouTube or TikTok videos. If you choose the last option there, you can actually be rewarded for creating content that promotes Sticker Hub. Kind of cool. It just explains how to make your video, how to go ahead and tag everything and whatnot. So check it out if you're interested in that. But that's just, once again, another way to earn rewards and stuff. Well, that kind of wraps up the whole Sticker Hub app. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. I'll probably be doing some more videos explaining each one of the features just on its own so you don't have to run through the entire video. But if you do decide to download the Sticker Hub app, make sure to use my invite code. I have it here on the screen. Um, and all of the points that I earn, I will be using to redeem for stickers to do giveaways. So it's a win-win situation. If you enjoy my content, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to stay in the know for all things Monopoly Go. Until next time, bye.